Next, the single load cases will be calculated. All load cases from the database are listed in this table and are pre-selected. Here you have the possibility to select single groups for the calculation. Deactivated groups will not be considered within the calculation. The group selection acts on all load cases you activated on the first tab. If you want to make a calculation with different load cases acting on varying groups, please insert the task linear analysis multiple times. The default settings on the tab Control Parameters should only be changed by advanced users of our software. In the System Information dialog, ASE was chosen for calculation. So, if you want to know more about these settings, please have a look at the corresponding manual. Detailed information about the Sophistic T-Beam philosophy can be found in Chapter 2 of ASE Manual, containing the theoretical principles of the program. Almost every task has a tab for text output and one for graphical output. We will give you some explanation here, which holds for all other tasks too. The text output is divided in chapters. Within the combo boxes, you can control the extent of the output for each chapter separately. Aside from the default output, you can select no output, normal output, full output or extensive output. Here is a ready-made list of standard graphics to choose from. The option User Defined View allows you to choose a position for your structure that will be used for all graphical output. If the option Process Immediately is checked, the task will be calculated when leaving the dialog with the OK button. At the same time, the output reports are written. Open the report browser to read them and check your results. When calculating a task, WinPS will be open within the working area of SSD. Here, all tasks are listed in the task tree. The current task, Linear Analysis, has two modules. First, ASE for the calculation of the internal forces, and the second one for the graphics. The menu bar allows to switch the view in the working area. In Animator you can now choose a load case and see how the structure deforms and get a sense for its stress behavior. When the calculation of the single load cases is done, you can start the superpositioning to generate the load cases for design. Here you can only assign the element types to the combination rules. The definition of the combination rules has to be done in advance in the corresponding task. The functioning of this dialog was already explained when defining the combinations. The box Process Immediately is checked. So let's start the calculation by pressing the OK button.
You can see that the program is showing a warning. It tried to make a superposition for bedding forces. Because our example slab only has rigid supports, it is correct that there are no bedding forces to superpose. More information can be found in the manual of Maxima. The tables can be helpful to do some quick control directly in SSD. It is for example possible to get the sum of all loads for each load case. Using the right-click menu, you can copy content of the table to the clipboard and paste it into a Word or Excel file.